Hello again, this is Pastor Don, pastor of Rock of Ages Lutheran Church in Wildwood, Florida, coming to you with our, our daily devotional time, a way to get your day started in a positive way, hopefully. Today, I want to welcome those of you who might be coming across this for the very first time. I know that uh, we're reaching out well beyond where we might have anticipated. There are people in many other states that are seeing these things, and uh, we're grateful that you're spending a few moments with us this morning. We also hope that you'll take the time on Sunday to uh, view our recorded worship services. And um, if you have a prayer request, please uh, email it to us at rockofagesLutheran at gmail.com. We'd love to include you in our weekly prayers. And I'd also be curious to know where you're from. If you would, in the comments section of these videos, either on Facebook or YouTube, uh, put your name, where you're from, uh, and it would be <clears throat> interesting to know just how far uh, reaching these things are. You know, it's been one of the unintended outcomes of this uh, self-isolation time uh, that we've been able to rapidly and uh, broadly get our message to many more people. And so we're grateful for that. Uh, it's our new normal. And we will continue to record and to make these uh, videos available to you well after the time when we are able to uh, gather again in worship. And um, it's going to be, I think, uh, a, a welcome outcome to have so many more people be a part of what we're trying to do at Rock of Ages Lutheran Church. Today, I'm going to do something a little bit different. Uh, instead of reading from one continuous uh, gospel lesson, I'm going to talk about something uh, in a more general sense and provide you with some scripture passages that relate to it. I wanna talk about blessings, blessings. Well, what exactly is a, a blessing? I'm sure you have on numerous occasions uh, when someone sneezes uh, have said, bless you, uh, without ever thinking, uh, what does it mean? Where did it come from? Well, uh, legend has it that uh, in the pagan world, when someone sneezed, it was believed that the heart stopped. In essence, they died momentarily. And so a blessing was conferred upon the person who sneezed to ward off any evil spirits that might take advantage of that momentary time of supposed death. Um, the blessing that uh, we talk about in the Bible has a, a very different kind of meaning and connotation. The, the dictionary definition of a blessing is to receive the grace from God. Now in the Old Testament, a blessing usually was conferred by a father onto a son, and it usually related to a property uh, conference of one kind or another. The bestowing of God's grace is something that we probably haven't spent any time thinking about. But God has bestowed his grace upon us in, in numerous ways. And there's a lot of scripture lessons that I could uh, uh, share with you. I'll share a few of them now. Uh, for example, this out of Philippians in the fourth chapter, the 19th verse. And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. And how about this from Isaiah in the 41st chapter, 10th verse. Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. And then there's this from 3 John, first chapter, second verse. Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. And then this from 2 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, eighth verse. And God is able to make all grace abound to you so that having all sufficiency in all things at all times, you may abound in every good work. And then finally from uh, 
Philippians in the fourth chapter, the seventh verse, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And for those of you who have um, participated in a worship service uh, any time recently, you would probably have heard these words, this ancient blessing that came from Moses' brother Aaron, and it goes this way, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. That blessing is one that I say uh, just about every Sunday. Uh, blessings are a good thing and we all uh, would like to receive a blessing, would we not? Uh, but not only do we want to receive blessings, but we um, also are capable of delivering blessings. Uh, maybe not in the way that God delivers blessings to us, but uh, we can be a blessing to other people. And so I think it would be a, a good thing for us to spend a little time today or some other time just enumerating the blessings that you have received from God. And let me warn you, they are numerous. Uh, they're small, they're large, they're around us all the time, they never stop. How is it then that you might be a blessing to somebody else? How is it that you might bestow God's grace on another person today? and the days that, that follow. So blessings, blessings are a little thing, a word that we've thrown around a lot, but they are a mighty word. They're a mighty gift and we're capable of bestowing that very same gift on other people. Let's pray. Gracious God, we are blessed beyond measure that we have available to us your holy word in scripture. We thank you, Lord, that we can go to it and we can find assurance, we can find confidence that you are with us always, even to the end of the age, as you have said. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Help us, almighty God, that we might be a blessing to other people, as there are so many today who are uh, weighed down by this COVID-19 virus and the constriction of movement and those who have uh, perhaps lost their employment and are struggling financially. Lord, help us to be a blessing to them in whatever way you move our hearts to do. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, uh, we continue to come to you on our knees, begging that a vaccine will come soon that will put this COVID-19 virus behind us. In the meantime, Lord, help us to do the things that we know are effective, the things that can help contain the spread of it, the wearing of masks, the social distancing, and so forth. And Lord, we pray that those who uh, don't believe that those are effective might have their hearts and minds changed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we ask that you would protect us this day, guide us in our thoughts, our words, and our deeds, and help us to be a blessing as you have blessed us so richly. And all of God's people said, amen. I hope this time is uh, worthwhile for you. It's brief. Uh, we will continue, like I said, to do it each and every day. And as you listen to these words, I hope that you'll reflect on them during the day, but that will not be the end of your time of reflecting on the blessings that God so abundantly showers upon you, and that you will continue to look for God's blessings in Scripture and in prayer. Until we meet again tomorrow, this is Pastor Don saying God bless.